Well, let's start with the traditional. Um, we, we have, uh, we've ha always had fluorescent, but uh, here's a, a high pressure, uh, no, a metal halide. Okay, the, the difference uh, here is this is about a 400 watt, and uh, so 400 watts is a lot of power to be burning in the light, right? So that's why LED lighting is becoming popular now and growers are using this less and less. But this, is, uh, this would be so bright you couldn't look at it if it was plugged in. Now that's the metal halide. Those are better for starting, propagating, getting your plants started. And then traditionally what's been done is switched over to a sodium, high pressure sodium bulb. This is the one that has uh, been used in street lights, kind of has that orange glow to it. Again, very effective. Uh, the light range, this will throw out uh, very effective up to about six feet from the bulb. So you can cover a lot of area. And particularly if you ran a light track, there's a motorized track where you can run your light fixture back and forth and uh, you know, cover most of your greenhouse, at least up to nine feet uh, with uh, a light on a track. But the uh, LED, you know, this little guy here, I wonder if we can plug this in and give, let's see, we've got that fluorescent, uh, well, I'll show you what a T5 fluorescent looks like here. The T5 is the, the newer, smaller diameter. This is just a 24 watt bulb and it's only two foot long fixture, but that's effective, uh, you know, for plants. 12 inches by a little over two feet long. And it's gonna have uh, probably one and a half times the output of the old T12 type bulbs. Remember the old, the big ones here, the Grolux type? They were sliding. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so then the, uh, so this is the old, supposedly these, these are going out of production. You're not gonna be able to buy these anymore, but I, I'm not sure We've heard that for a couple of years and they're still available. So what they, what they are making is a T10 that fits in a T12 socket. The T8, a little smaller diameter, uh, very effective though, very efficient. Uh, that's what these lights are overhead here. And you probably see some different colors. Uh, one thing you want to learn about lighting is what's called the color temperature, the K. Uh, K for Kelvin. And for uh, starting your plants, the daylight or blue spectrum is a high number, like 5,000, 5,500, 6,000, 6,500 in that range. So when you're starting plants or propagating, you want that high temperature. And you can get that uh, in all of these types of bulbs. Uh, but you have to look for the mark on the box. They're not all the same. The uh, the low Kelvin is usually at 2,800 or 3,000, sometimes 3,400, and that's going to be for the uh, end of the plant stage when it's fruiting or blooming and fruiting. So this is a, a 5,000, I believe, this blue-white light. So that's a propagation. Okay, And th this is just a four-foot version of, of that tube, and very small, but if we plug this in, it's uh, almost so bright you, can't, you don't want to look at it. This is a five, T5, yeah. We would like to be able to use LED lighting uh, because they're more efficient. The only real disadvantage of these fluorescent tubes is the somewhat limited life and the fact they have mercury, so you're not supposed to just break them up and put them in your dumpster. Uh, you're supposed to pay to get rid of them. And that's still a problem with fluorescent, whereas your LEDs now are gonna be uh, lasting much, much longer and then there's no problem with disposal with the LED. So we've got a, another compact here. How about we plug this one in? We'll compare this spiral. They call them spring lamps or spiral, and uh, gets a, you get quite a bit of wattage and light output, lumen output. And this is, I think, 11 watts. So the other thing when you, you notice it's, it's um, 
not real bright, but uh, these compact fluorescents increase as, as you let them warm up. They will increase. Now, let's put the LED in there and see what that looks like. very blue. So this would be adequate. Uh, I don't know if you can see on the floor here, but it, it does light up the floor, you know, even at four feet. So it does have a good range to throw. And that's one of, I think one of the advantages, uh, LED, not as much as your high pressure sodium and uh, metal halide, but the LED probably does a better job of throwing light than your fluorescent. Now, unfortunately, if you want an LED strip, they're either pricey or you have to adapt your feature, uh, your fixture. You have to customize your fixture to set the LED strip light, they call them. Um, can be done, but I would expect by this time next year, uh, we'll be able to buy them ready to go. Question? That's, uh, it's popular to do that, particularly in, in mid-range. Uh, you know, the blue is gonna be more effective in propagation, but once you're past the propagation stage, then put in the, the warmer colored fluorescent.